What is going on, everyone? Richard Blaze here back again with my friends at Albertsons and Vons and Safeways and their family of brands. We have a couple things going on today because it is brunch uh, with brands and Blaze. So it's Triple B. It's, it's brunch with the Albertsons family of brands and Blaze, but also it's Triple, triple B in a totally different way because those are three Bs, but there's three other Bs. There's three, there's three blazes happening today. And I am so excited. Which blazes are going to make an appearance? Welcome to the show, right from the top, introducing from somewhere, somewhere in California, where she's been very, very busy. Welcome to the show. She's starting high school very soon, like next week. It's Riley Blaze! Riley Blaze showing up to the show. Do you start high school this week? I do, yeah. Oh my gosh. Parents out there of teenagers, right? Oh my gosh, high school. I can't believe that. And this is that we have been on camera when you were like this big yeah. on the Rachel Ray show. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Where you were making, what were you making on that show? Like years and years ago? Something with pomegranate seeds. Yeah. And we called them princess princess pearls or jewels or something like that it worked it worked riley blaze welcome to the show and you know who else is cooking with me it's another blaze it's another blaze welcome from somewhere else deep in the woods of california where she's been foraging looking for i think it's called herping looking for wild uh rattlesnakes who knows what she's been up to welcome every blaze to the show yeah, nice jump, by the way. An elite athlete coming in with a big jump right there. So I mentioned that maybe you were running around the woods uh, and that maybe you have some pet snakes. Is that okay that I revealed that to everyone? Like, of America? course, yes. Right, so you're in, you're in the snakes. Definitely, they're amazing. Got it. Good thing we're not eating any of them today. We're not eating snakes today. You cannot find that at Vons, right? I don't think. You cannot find that there. Uh, only for pets, only for pets. Yes. Yes, um, uh, pets that I do not, you know, really interact with. At neither. All. Neither, because, you know, snakes. All right, girls, listen, we're, we're in this and we're gonna treat this. It's all about everyone back there, everyone at home, cooking with their family, cooking with kids, cooking with friends, right? And the question is, uh, what are some of your favorite like breakfast brunch dishes? Because we're keeping the B letter here as a theme. Favorite breakfast, Pancakes and waffles, definitely. Pancakes and waffles, a crowd favorite. Um, and honestly, super authentic because Riley craves pancakes and waffles. Like that's her number one thing. Not just even for breakfast, right? Yeah. Like if Any you could meal of the day. Yeah, if you could eat three meals of waffles and pancakes. Sure. Yes. I would do that. Throw in maybe some pizza. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And one of your, Embry, one of your favorite breakfasts of all time. Probably avocado toast. Avocado love it. toast. It's amazing. Avocado toast. Definitely. I is that still cool? Yeah. Yeah, well it is. I, avocado toast was like was a like was like when you were much younger two years ago. <laughs> avocado toast went through a massive, massive trendy phase. But it's still cool in our house, right? Oh yeah. Uh, and pretty easy to make. Pancakes pretty easy to make? Pretty easy. Yeah. Avocado toast pretty easy to make? So easy. Another thing I like to make are really, really good scrambled eggs. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna make. So there's gonna be three of us. We're gonna do three dishes. The clock starts now. Uh, let's get into it, okay? Uh, so Riley, you're gonna make uh, pancakes and you're gonna make your avocado toast. So you gotta find some avocados. Riley, you are going to make um, uh, one of my favorite recipes here using almond and coconut milk right here, right? So you're gonna make almond and coconut milk pancakes from silk, unsweetened, which is the big part for me, yeah. right? I know that you, you like sugar? I love sugar. You love sugar, who doesn't love sugar? Um, but unsweetened, because we are gonna add a little sugar to it. Are we gonna have some maple syrup on it? Yes. Right, so we don't need to add, add, and keep on layering up all the sugar. So you have your ingredients over here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna whisk them all in this big uh, bowl here. By the way, we're, we're at one of my restaurants, Ember and Rye in Carlsbad, California. So if you see anything like a giant whisk that you could oar down a river with while you're looking for snakes. I don't know what's happening, but it's because we're in, a, we're, we're in a kitchen. We're in a professional kitchen here. Speaking of professional kitchens, Riley, as you start that recipe, get everything in there. Did you just go to camp? I did just go to camp, yeah. 
And did you, as an elective, take culinary? I did, yeah, it was super fun. It was fun? It was very fun. Oh my gosh, following after your dear old dad's footsteps, perhaps? Yep. Nice, and it was fun, and what did you make there? Uh, we made steaks a lot. A lot of steaks? It was like I was, instru I was not an instructor there, but you would think by watching my uh, social media feed that I was. You had a good time though, right? I had a really good time. Whew, culinary, culinary camp, there it is. Okay, so you're gonna start your pancakes. You got everything here scaled out. There's the coconut almond milk. There's your flour. You got two eggs, right? You know how to crack eggs and get into it? Yeah. All right, you start over there and I'll get Embry going. And then when it, the batter is made, we'll come back and we'll make our pancakes. Okay, so Em, you're over here and you're making uh, your avocado toast. Um, so we need avocados. So which ones do you want to start? Well, how do I choose? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> That is a good question. And we have lots of questions coming in, by the way, from our viewers who have asked questions just like that. Okay, avocados, you really, you know, you want it to be a little soft, right? How soft do they don't need to be super, super squishy. That means they're probably overripe, but you want them to give just a little bit, right? So let's see. This one's good, that's good. This one seems perfect, maybe even too good. Uh, this one seems okay, what about that one? Yeah, that one's on the edge, let's see. Right? That's why it's good. Buy your avocados in bulk if you can, right? You get a bunch of avocados, you get a whole bag, you get a dozen, and then every day one or two more reveal themselves and are, and are going to be good. Okay, so you got a couple working there. I'll get into how we're going <clears> to, <throat> um, you know, um, take out the pit of our avocado. Oh, big moment over here. Big moment with the egg. Big moment. Reality show moment. Right? He's cracking an egg into her pancakes. She did it! She did it! Wait, wait, let me check. There's a judge in the house. No shell, no shell. Riley has done it, no shell. That's culinary camp. That's what happens when you go to culinary camp. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. It, was, it wasn't, it wasn't. Okay, here we go. Uh, avocados, you got yours picked out, but here's how we're gonna do it. Uh, I'll do it on the board because I think it's a little safer, but what you wanna do with an avocado is I just go around the edge of the avocado and then twist, twist the avocado open. And that's how you open an avocado, right? And uh, if you're cooking with kids, who are not yet ready to wield a 12-inch chef's knife, um, best if you do this part for them, but that's really the only part that you have to do, right? And then just simply, I just get in there and I just wanna pull out the pit from the avocado. And then we take this pit and we put it in the compost bin, which is something that we're doing. I just, I, I gotta keep my chef cred going, but if you can compost, compost, it's good for the environment. So now we have that pit out. And now we have our avocado. I'm gonna do a few more of these. So now the question is, when it comes to, you got all those ingredients in there? Not yet. Okay, you're gonna dump all of these, uh, not that butter there, and we'll do this butter here that's melted, all of these little containers, that's and then we're good to go. Perfect. Riley's moving fast. You know that no one wins anything here, right? Or does someone win anything? Does someone, do we get anything? Does anyone? Up. Oh, oh, we're, go, we're going to Vons for lunch, everyone. We're going to Vons for lunch, where you can see me, by the way, I mentioned this on shows, walking around in the morning in my PJs. I'm that guy. I'm that guy scrambling to find the perfect avocado for your avocado toast at my local Vons. Okay. How many do we need? How many do we need? Um, th that was, by the way, a great way to keep me moving. You're like, hey, dude, can you, Dad, can you just keep going here? Because, like, uh, no one wants to hear about your PJs, right? Okay. Uh, probably three. Let's say we'll, we'll do three. M, here's a big question about avocado toast. It's pretty simple. We make toast, which, by the way, show the viewers, show, show the viewers some of the toast we have right there, right? We got that. Uh, so we make toasted sourdough, very, very simple. The question with avocado toast, and I'm going to ask the audience, is how chunky, how chunky do you make it? Do you just, do you just smash it a little bit? Do you like really, really mash it and make like a puree of it? How do you like your guacamole is really the question. How about you? Em? How do you like your guacamole? Well, or your I avocado toast? think I like my avocado toast just like not super chunky, but not like pureed either. So kind of like in the middle. Like there is chunks, but it's not completely like. Mm, so perfect. Exactly. Perfect, exactly, so perfect. Not too mushy. It's a Three Bears episode right here. Just right, just right. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. Now, a couple ways you can do it. You can just smash it if it's really ripe in there, or you have spoons and you can just scoop it out, right? So either or is gonna work. Um, and then here, just kind of scoop out some of these avocados. So you can do that. Um, while you're doing that, I'm going to start making this omelet, okay? Uh, so scoop out some of these avocados, get maybe four or five avocados in there, uh, and then we'll just, we're going to season them with a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil, okay? I think so, I'm going to try one that's super chunky. 
Okay, let's try I one of the two. Difference. Yeah, so so smash them out. You can't do anything wrong. How are we doing over here? I mix every ingredient. Okay. I think it's good. Okay, let me see. I'll I'll be the judge of that. Okay. I am the judge of that. I mean, that's what I do, right? That's what yeah. you see me on. I'm very serious. Uh, how do you know if your pancake batter is right? Well, it should sort of, just like that, it should fall. And uh, they taught me in school. I don't know if they taught you a culinary camp, but that the batter should form a figure eight. That when you have your pancake batter and you put it into the bowl, that it should loosely form a figure eight and dissolve as it's forming the figure eight. I just blew my own mind. I'm, did, did, did they tell you that culinary camp? No, they did not. That's because Richard Blaze is in, cook, is in the instructor at culinary camp or any of my other friends who are cooking here with Albertsons. Okay, here we go. So this is perfect. So you're going to put that off to the side and let that rest for a little bit. Um, we're going to cook our pancakes here. So this is an induction burner. I'm going to turn that on. It's going to get pretty hot. So when that heats up, we'll start making our pancakes. You're going to need what? A big spoon over there. Oh, well, let's mash them up in here first. You want to do that? Actually, that's how I make it at home. So make one just like that. Leave it super chunky. Uh, that's not a big spoon. We need a big spoon. We need a big spoon from, does anyone, there's no one here. Does anyone have a big spoon? Uh, usually when I say that, someone runs to get a big spoon, but no one is run. No one is here. It's just us. Here, can you use a, we'll use a little spoon. We'll use a little spoon. Or you can just, uh, we need to get this pancake batter into this pan. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go. You got your avocados working. We got this heating up. Uh, Dad's gonna have to make some uh, eggs. We're gonna have to make some eggs. Do we have a question? Producer Jeff, I know people sent in some questions. Are there questions yet? We did get some questions. Yes. Uh, one about avocado. Yes. Way to keep an avocado from turning brown. Ooh, is there, that's a good question that I don't, do you know the answer to that? I do not know the answer, you know the that's answer a good that? question. Oh, wow, thanks. I don't, um, well, one way is, uh, again, the traditional way, especially if you're making guacamole, where lime is a great addition to it, and, uh, and you can show them how to do this, is if you take a little bit of lime juice as you're mashing your avocados, right, and add a little bit of lime, that the lime will help it from discoloring. So lime, lemon, any sort of citrus, uh, that'll work. And you want to do that pretty much right away, right? So, uh, or also that is, you know what? You, you just, you just drop some knowledge and leave the pit in the guacamole. That is another, I don't know if that's science. I don't know if that's science, but people do that. It's one of those things like, do you put a cork when you cook octopus? Do you do that when you cook octopus? Do you put a white I've cork? never cooked octopus. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but I, it's kind of like a, a, a myth, maybe, but I'll go with it. Leave a, leave a pit in. Throw that pit in. Don't eat the pit. Though. Don't eat the pit. Okay, over here. Looks like we got a, a, a ladle coming in. Here it is. Thank you so much. That'll help you to start making these pancakes. Uh, no, we got something else coming in, maybe. Okay. Uh, and now this is going to get really hot. Uh, maybe too hot right now. So let me turn this down. There we go. Let's see, let's see how hot it is. Okay, not too bad. So we're going to put a little bit of ghee, a little bit of ghee in this pan. And what is ghee? Ghee is clarified butter, so it's not gonna burn. Uh, I like using ghee when I'm uh, making pancakes. It also makes them a little bit crispy around the edges. Um, so we're gonna let this heat up a little bit, Riley. Once you see a little bit of shimmer, you can start making your pancakes. Now, you've made pancakes at home. I have. And yes. she's really good at it. So you're, you're, you're off to the races over here. Okay. Let's make like five pancakes if we can. We'll need some plates for those when they're done. Uh, but you got that working. Okay, over nice here. By the way, I know that like we're related, but if you're looking for work, because uh, like you're making guacamole, you made like enough guacamole for lunch service here. That's amazing. You're going hard. All right. Yeah. So mash those up. Maybe a fork. A fork might be a little bit better. All right. Um, this is now ready to go uh, to make a pancake. You can go ahead and give one, give one a try there. We'll need a spatula for the flip of the pancake over here. You need a, a pancake spatula. All right, go ahead. We're going to need that right away, probably, for the flip of a pancake. Okay, here we go. Avocado, working hard. Uh, pancakes in the pan. Dad's behind. I haven't even started my dish. It's going to blazes here. It's all going to blazes. I think I can say that. Okay, uh, I need eggs. Eggs right here. And what I'm going to do now, Riley, you were so good, you can help me with this, too, if you want. Okay. I'm going to make uh, a very quick sort of uh, two, two egg, uh, three egg omelet. Three egg omelet. Uh, and also, you know what? I'm only going to do three because I have a small pan over here. Uh, but I'm going to try and show up because producer Jeff's here. 
and girls, producer Jeff, like he goes family friend, goes way, way back. And I always try and impress him whenever he's around. And, I'm, and I know there's millions of people watching, but I'm gonna try and do right now the single-handed double egg crack lock. Go ahead. Wow. Do you do, first of all, are we, had, are, we, are we making wagers here? Like, do you think I can do it? Yes, I think we can do it. Whoa, first of all, way too long to answer that question. Ryan, do you think I can do it? She doesn't think I can do it. You're a teenager, I understand that. I understand that, okay, here we go. There'd be nothing better than a dad epic fail on this morning breakfast show. Okay, here we go, the double egg crack. That's impressive. I want to throw these eggs over my shoulders so bad, but this is my restaurant, and I don't want to have to clean it up. Oh my gosh. The double eggs, did you see that? No one, by the way, I mean, we have a small crew here. How was there not applause? How was there not, thank you. Thank you, three people, the three people that are here. Oh my gosh, the double egg crack, it kind of made it happen. It wasn't my best crack. All right, so we have our eggs in there. How are we doing over there? Oh. Now, when do you want to flip your pancakes? That's the question, right? When do you want to flip your pancakes? What do you flip? You, I mean, uh, you make pancakes. I usually look for like bubbles around the edges. Exactly. That's kind of what I know. Got it. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit here. Um, I don't see the bubbles around the edges. You got your spatula. You're ready to go. You got an amazing thing. I think we're ready to season over here. So let's get a little bit, let it get, let's get a little bit organized over here, which is my fault, not yours. Uh, but now we have to season it. Show the inside of the bowl to the camera. You got to do the little tilt there. There you go. So you show them. So that's, that's a perfect medium mash, right? That's what we said we were going for. Um, so now we got to season what's in there. So how do you want to season your, your avocado toast? Hmm. Well, we've got a lot of stuff. We do. Yeah. First, I'm going to recommend uh is the salt right so a little bit of salt so i like you know you got to give it like a little celebrity chef like you gotta look to the camera and you gotta do this and then you gotta like, do something really crazy to get that salt in there go ahead let me see let me see your celebrity chef a little bit. nice i like it i'm gonna you want to do one too what's all let's see who's got the best this is a competition show here's mine i'm gonna go like, okay that was intense that was intense it was intense yours had a little sass to it right what are you gonna do here Oh, the flaky drip from up high. Who do you think won? Who do you think won that? It definitely wasn't me. It definitely wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. Okay, so you got salt in there. We don't need a lot. Um, and then I would squeeze some lime in there. We'll take our own advice and add some lime in there. That's going to keep it nice and nice and good. Color-wise, now you have some bubbles. If the, the camera can see those little bubbles, you can see some one's about to pop right there. So I think you're ready for the big flip. Uh, you, you think? I think so. Yeah, yeah, hey, listen, go for it. It's a big moment. You want me to flip the first one or you got it? I'll try. Yes! Okay, Riley's going for the flip. Make sure you get under there. Get the spatula under there. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, audio. <laughs> I've never seen anyone get so excited over someone flipping a pancake. Riley, high five. High five. What a good high five, by the way. High five. High five. Oh, you got lime all over your hands. That's okay. That's okay. That's what cooking with... That's what brunch is. Okay, you got pancakes there. You got that. I love the texture. Uh, I think we can now start building. I, listen, I just like making soft scrambled eggs. You love eggs. Oh, yeah. That's like one. Definitely. It's, I love eggs. As a matter of fact, you want to put some eggs on your toast? Yes, I do that a lot. So, yes, you love that. You love eggs? I have mixed feelings about eggs. <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship. Do you? What do you love about them? Um, they're a source of protein. <laughs> there it is. That's the very the basics of nutrition right there. What do I love about eggs? Yes, they're protein. They're both athletes. Got to get your protein. All right. I'm scrambling my eggs. I like to really, really whisk them, obviously. Get a lot of air in there because the more air that goes into the eggs, the fluffier they're going to be, the lighter they're going to be, right? So I like to whisk them up just like that. Also, eggs, and you want to throw a little salt in here just like you did with the avocados? Sure. Eggs need to be salted before they get cooked so that the salt dissolves in the eggs. Big tip. Oh, I like that. Now you're, now you're getting really, really good at it. Um, uh, maybe a little bit more. Quick, a quick more. Quick more. We got that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something crazy, though. As this, is, oh, this is heating up over here. Let's, all right. Um, is I want a secret ingredient. We need a secret ingredient from a random aisle at Safeway. 
Vons, Albertsons, we need, we need a random ingredient. Okay, I don't even know what, oh, I should open my eyes, I had to catch it. What's coming in? Frito-Lay's classic chips. Now it, is a, now it is a game show. Now it is a game show. What am I gonna do with Frito-Lay's classic chips? Well, first, I think we should have a little snack. Isn't this what you do when you, okay, like first, cheers. Did you guys, did you wait for the cheers? Have another chip, have another chip so we can do this correctly. This is, have another chip. <sighs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay. There we go. Really, really good. What am I gonna do with them? It's gonna get crazy. Here's what I'm gonna do with these Frito Lay's chips. Wow. That felt really cool. Oh, do I embarrass you sometimes? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> potato chips in the eggs. You've had a potato omelet before. Why not a potato chip omelet, right? So the potatoes are gonna dissolve in there. It's gonna add a nice, a little bit of salt in there. Uh, if you wanna get extra fancy with it, um, you can add a little drip of truffle oil in there if you want. Let's see, a little, little, bit, of a little bit of truffle oil in there. Now we have truffle, potato, and eggs. Now you're, fan now you're winning the game show, right? Now you're, now, this is, now you're taking this to the next level. Um, my pan heating up right here, and I like to do this in whole butter, in whole butter. Uh, okay, hold on, every hold on, everyone. Everyone, Riley is ready for her next flip. Come on in. Let's see how it goes. Oh, she's crushing it, crushing it. Oh, now everyone, now everyone cheers. I'm the fan favorite. What can I say? You are the fan favorite. Right now, everyone at home, vote for your fan favorite. Is it Riley? Is it Embry? Or is it this guy? Okay, here we go. I got uh, some heat going over here. Um, I'm gonna cook in some whole butter. Riley, you wanna hand me? I'm gonna, yeah, hand me the butter. Use a little bit of butter over here. Uh, and I, once the butter starts to sizzle, um, which it's not right now, um, then I know uh, that I'm ready to cook my eggs. So I got a nonstick pan. I got some butter in the pan. I'm gonna let the butter sizzle, and then I'm gonna cook my, my scrambled eggs here or my omelet. I have my potato chips that have now dissolved uh, into uh, my eggs, I got a little bit of truffle oil in there. I have a little bit of salt. And then really simply, um, I'm just gonna add my eggs right here to the pan. Let that cook and then just start scrambling those really, really quickly. We'll put this off to the side. Embry, what do you got going on? Um, you doing good? Well, I'm making my first double kind of test. Okay. Cucumbers go good with salmon. Yes, cucumbers are incredible with salmon. You are absolutely crushing it over there. That's a great idea. Okay, so when you make your omelet, really all you have to do is start the scrambling process. Start the scrambling process, and then you just kind of let it sit. Just let it sit right in there, just like that. So that's pretty much done. Uh, do we want to do a folded omelet? Do we want to put some cheese in it? Let's do it. We'll put some some ham in there. Riley, you doing good? I'm doing great. We'll do a little, little bit of cheese. We got truffle in there, ha truffle, ham, and cheese. Um, now we're just going to kind of fold this over really, really simple. You just get in there. You just get in there. And the great thing about omelets is you can do this with your hand, meaning like if you don't have a perfect shape, you can just come back and sort of fold it with your hand. Okay, here we go. Perfect, perfect omelet happening right here. Show you what I mean when the eggs cook just a little bit longer. Embry, where, how are you doing with your, with your, oh my gosh, you got sesame seeds on there? Yeah. Okay, you got a plate. Let's get that plate cleaned off and we can plate right on there. You have three pancakes. How do you want to top your pancakes? Syrup, bananas, okay. and what else should I do? Syrup, bananas, and those are some of your favorites, right? Those are some of my favorites, and, and what is another absolute favorite topping for you? Mm. You're doing me a favor doing this with me. What is, what is something that you really like? Maybe it's more of a, when we're out at a, on vacation. What's a vacation pancake topping for you? Whipped cream, definitely. Whipped cream? Oh my gosh, we gotta find some whipped cream in the house. Here it is. Riley, you ready for the catch? Producer Jeff's gonna throw it in. Here it is, your first whipped cream catch. Did you catch it? I got you it. Got it. She got it. Coming in hot. That's the first time someone not named Scarlett threw an ingredient into the kitchen. And there's a reason why Scarlett throws. She played um, collegiate D1 softball. I don't know if that's true, but um, she's got a good toss. She's got a good toss. Okay, my, my omelet's ready to go. 
um, ham, cheese, truffle. Um, I need a plate for my omelet. I'm gonna open this up, absolutely. What are, sometimes this is what mom and dads are for, right? You gotta open up a container, there we go. Here come more, I think this is perfect for my little omelet. I'm gonna plate my omelet right here. Um, uh, I'm a little upset, there's a little color on that, which is like, depending on who you're working for, you're gonna get fired probably, but since I'm working for myself, I'm okay. I, I, I'm gonna do another, another class, I think. Is that okay, Jeff, producer Jeff? There's a little color on this omelet. What I was saying about folding it is you can get back in here and really with omelets with your hands or a towel, just kind of reshape that. All right, so we got that. We got a little bit of um, herbs from the garden out here as well. Might as well make this nice and nice and beautiful and fancy. Put a little bit of herbs from the garden right on top of my omelet. Getting super fancy. Riley, are you ready to plate almost over there? You need, you need some bananas chopped, right? I do, yes. You need some bananas chopped. So there's, there's the omelet. Uh, girls, I'm first. I finished first, I'm just saying. You know, it's not a race. It's not race, okay. You got your pancakes, you're doing a lot more than I am anyway. Hand me one of those bananas. I'm gonna chop up the banana for you. You're making three avocado toast though. She's, you know, overachiever, obviously. She's not, I'll make one dish. We're gonna chop up these bananas real quick. Um, I do this sometimes at home and Emery likes it. I, I pretend the banana's alive. I'm like, oh, we're going to the spa. We're going to the spa. It gets weird sometimes, it gets weird sometimes. Okay, here we go, we got our bananas. Uh, Riley, are you ready to plate? Your bananas are over here, okay? You got maple syrup, you got your whipped cream, you're ready to plate. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna bring it all together here, we're gonna bring it all together. Uh, omelet is done. You have this amazing cucumber, avocado, and smoked salmon toast. Are you gonna do another one? I think so. I'm trying to think what I would put on. Oh, well, you know what? Did you want, uh, did you want some eggs real quick? Oh, yeah. Do you want to do your famous egg one? Okay, sure. Riley, you're now ready to present once you get that third pancake done. Um, I'll make some more eggs for you really, really quick because I think I, can, I think I can handle that. And then we can do a bacon egg avocado. You want to do that? Sure. Got it. Uh, I think, so go bacon next on the avocado. Go bacon next. You have some bacon over there? Yeah, I think go bacon next, and then we'll put the egg right on top. So there we go, right there. We got our eggs. Make a quick little scramble, like I said. We got some potato chips in there, a little bit of butter. We're just making a soft scrambled egg. So notice again with the eggs, is the butter sizzles, the eggs go into the pan, and that's really it, right? The pan just has to be hot, but them, for them to be nice and soft and fluffy scrambled eggs, we don't want them to cook too long, right? We don't really ideally want too much browning or any at all. Like this one is gonna be perfect because I was paying a little bit more attention to it. So there's a perfect, nice, soft scrambled egg. All right, get you a job at a Michelin star restaurant. Um, okay, there we go. So we're gonna come with our eggs right over, right over here. So you got a little omelet on top of that. How do you wanna finish that off? Maybe some chives, chives would be great. So just like pick off little pieces and, and dress them on there. Chives are, are onions. You're ready for your bananas? Let's play it, we're just gonna go. And we have one more special uh, special moment coming. Oh, look at these um, garlic blossoms that we found, not in a Vons, but on a sidewalk in front of a Vons. I mean, it still counts, it still counts. They grow everywhere wild here. Uh, a little bit of these chive blossoms. I think that's really, really nice. You like these girls? So these are, these are, you can oh, find them all. Has. Yeah, you can find them all over, even our house or all over California. I've seen them. I didn't and know they're edible. And it's garlic, so it tastes like garlic. So that's gonna work with ham and cheese, and they're and they're beautiful, right? You just gotta wash them. If you do find them on the sidewalk, just make sure you wash them. Okay, here we go. We got our omelet done. Let's get a plate for that. Here's your plate. Here's your plate for two toasts. Okay, Riley, you wanna come over and and put your bananas on there and your syrup and your butter. Here's some butter for you. Here you go. You wanna hold that? Yep, sorry. We gotta move, we gotta move, it's, it's time, it's time. And there's a judge coming, there's a judge coming. Yeah, yeah, there's another surprise. There's one more surprise, I'm getting nervous because this is what happens when you're on these shows and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a special celebrity judge coming and who's showing up and I don't know, who can it be? And then you're like, Lady Gaga's here, oh my gosh. And I'm nervous because I love Lady Gaga and then you know, it's, it gets crazy and Man, who, who knows who's gonna be here, but we have a special judge. This one is a little minimal. You wanna, that's it, you like it though. Well, that's just like a 
Simple one. Okay. What well, are these? Tomatoes. Onions. Pickled onions and, and tomatoes. Let's do it. Because the judge, I know what the judge like. I know the judge. I know the judge is coming. Whew. Spoiler alert. Mom's coming. Mom's coming. Guys, mom is coming to brunch. Okay, so we got to get this ready. Is mom here? Is there a mom here? Okay, she's here. She's here. She's coming onto the set. We're wrapping it up. All right, brunch with besties. Uh, brunch, with the, brunch with the family. Cooking with the blazes. Uh, here she is, Jasmine Blaze. It's a quadruple Ready. B episode. Who knew it was going to happen? Ready. So oh, good to see you. It's time to present our dishes to Jasmine Blaze, the rock of the family who keeps it together. Give it up for moms out there, everyone. Let's be honest, all I'm doing is breaking things all day long. And mom is fixing things all day long. Uh, so here we go. So we got three dishes. Um, I'm not going to tell you who made what. Okay. Um, but here is a very, very impressive truffle uh, ham and cheese omelet uh -huh. uh, with some uh, garlic flowers that were harvested by someone. Uh -huh. uh, so that this is this. The, the flowers are a little bit of a giveaway of who did it. <sighs> because of the, yeah. yeah. That was so funny. Yeah. Yep. All right, that's one. And then uh, the second dish, uh, you should present this one, I think, just because to keep it kind of fair and not to know who, who made what. So these are three avocado toasts that are all different, and then they're all kind. I mean, they're all the same. They all have different toppings, but there's so much you can put on avocado toast, and that's just to show like some of the things. I love it. Which, what is this one in the middle? Uh, the one in the middle, it's smoked salmon, uh, avocado, cucumbers, and then sesame seeds. I think. Love it. Yeah. I also this you you can make a bar out of this, right? You have all your toppings. That's a really easy brunch to we serve. We have a topping bar at our house. A topping bar? For anything. For anything. For anything. Yeah. Amazing. True. And then we have another dish, right. a classic, a classic stuff your face. Very oh, fluffy classy. pancakes with bananas, whipped cream. Fluffy. Look at the height on those Ooh. pancakes. Wow. That Made using by that? a professional. Made by a professional. Silk coconut almond pancakes Good. with bananas. Uh, Mom, listen. This is a feast. I'm going to tell you, this is a feast and it's brunch. And I know that, you know, you love all of us, but you do have to declare a winner here. Just visually, I have to declare a winner. That makes it really hard. You don't have to do that. We're not going to make you do that. We're not going to make mom pick one of her children's dish as the best. Um, but I will reveal who made it. Embry did the avocado bar. Yes. Nice. Riley did. The pancakes it fit into there, yeah. There. And Habitat. and I made the perfect omelet, um, and that's how it worked out with potato chips, awesome. of course. Uh, girls, thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for cooking. Thank you for every day, and thank you to everyone out there who's cooking with their kids, their families, and friends. Get in the kitchen, make a mess, have some fun, send us some videos, and we'll judge your food. We won't judge your food. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.